Hi guys and welcome to this week's Alakazam video blog. Right, so David, hello. How's it going? It's very, very good. You've been away the last couple of days. Yeah, normally we start this with how's it going? And I actually don't know how it's going because I've been away a couple of days. You have so. been away. You've been away lecturing in one of my favourite magic clubs, the Ipswich Magical Society. Yeah, it was great fun. Wayne Good, Goodman, our very good friend, uh, put me up and, and showed me around Ipswich. So yeah, we went for Fernando's, very cool. And then I did my lecture. So it was really great, really lovely people there. Uh, I mean, I know a lot of your I, friends are there. I've got a lot of friends at Ipswich. When Alexan first started, we used to do conventions all over the country. Ipswich, um, I met some really great guys who still to this day are good mates. We got Michael J. Fitch, yeah. um, Simon Shaw, the creator of Directors Cup. Yeah, some Cup. great stuff he was showing. Yeah, he's a brilliant guy. Uh, my really good buddy, Mark Precision's a member, obviously, Wayne Goodman, there's so yeah. many great members there. So if you live in and around Ipswich and want to join a magic club. It's a great club. Yeah. Very friendly. Yeah, really seek them out. It's a it's a really, really good club. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it went down well. Good stuff. Good. But I'm glad to have you back. Thanks. Yeah, fingers were crossed. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I bet it's been nice and quiet. For you, it has been very <laughs> quiet. Me and Andy just been sitting there and having a bit of a laugh and it's all just been really polite and sensible. Well, I'm back. So yeah, that's going to change. <laughs> that's going to change. So we've got three brilliant products this week. Yeah. Um, two of them are brand, brand new to us mm -hmm. here. Uh, one of them, it, this has literally just come on the market, so we're going to get onto that in a moment. Um, this we've had for about a month or two, but it's absolute killer so yeah. i'll show you that in a bit um but i'm gonna start with these oh <coughs> these, these are oh no, the, you introduce them they are <laughs> dmc black and gold cards dmc stands for money drum and coots who is well, actually that drum would be, and money that would be mdc yeah so yeah uh, <laughs> Drum and Money Coot, there we go. Uh, who is a fantastic magician. He has had, uh, I think, two series on Sky TV. Yeah, and his pro his series is <coughs> awesome. Yeah, his presentation for effects is really great. So if you haven't seen it, make sure you check. Yeah, it. I'm sure you can get it on Sky Catch Up. Um, and Drummond's been a customer of ours since he was a, a wee lad. Yeah. So yeah, um, it's guy, yeah, it? it's really good to see him doing well. But these cards were designed by my very good buddy, Phil Smith. Mm. And to say they're clever is an understatement. Yeah. Um, I'm not giving anything away by saying they're a Mark deck, because if you have a look on our website, it explains they're a Mark deck. One thing I will say is I am really short-sighted. Yeah. And I cannot, you know I can't really read my uh, Mark decks unless I literally sit there like that. This deck I can read and at a distance. Yeah. It is ingenious. Um, yeah, the idea behind the marking system on this, it, I, mean, I, I was very lucky to, not this deck itself, but another deck that I got um, from Phil. Yeah. And it, I sat there literally, I could not, could not see it until Phil pointed it out to me and I was like, I'll take one. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just such a clever... Well, it, this, is the, um, this is the new design. So these are the black, the black and gold ones. I yeah. think the ones you had were the blue, blue were they? Yeah. Um, but the, the cards handle really nice. Um, they're not USPCC. Um, they feel to me more like sort of Carter Monday oh, yeah. stock. Yeah, I love it. Um, but they're, they're great cards. There's a video on our website. It will show you uh, Drummond handling the cards so you'll see how well they handle. But they are, you know, it's like handling any other deck. But they are marked. What card is that? That's a seven of spades. Seven of spades. What card is that? That's the nine of spades. Yes. What card is that? Uh, Ace of diamonds. So yeah, they are. They yeah, are let me try you because you're sort of something. Yeah, I haven't got my glasses on, um, so I might struggle a bit. But show me. I show it. I hold it here. Right. Well, seeing as we haven't got any light on. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm going to get it wrong, but I'm going to say eight of spades. Yeah. If you're, if you're ever worried about the back, 
Just look at the monitor. Yeah, I, do you know what? Yeah, but I can't see the monitor. The monitor's <laughs> tiny. <laughs> no, but let me put my specs on. Okay. Um, and it is very dark in here. Give us another card. Don't show it to the monitor then. Because okay. they might think I looked in the monitor now. All right. Jesus, that's far away. That's, that's better. That is the ten of spades. Perfect. Yep. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, so for me to be able to see those at a distance is, yeah. you know, I, I, I really cannot read standard mark decks. I can't, even with my glasses on, I've got to really stare. Um, as soon as you pick this up as well, I mean, it, when I first handled it, I went, there's no way that's a mark deck. Yeah. And there's no way. Uh, and then there's, what, as soon as you find out what it is, you just go, what? Yeah. This I mean, it, it really, out. let's, um, I mean, the light in here is terrible, but we'll see uh, Jack of Spades, Two of Hearts, Six of Diamonds, Eight of Spades, Three of Diamonds, King Say of Spades. Say that, because it looks like you just turned them over. Ah, oh, right. <laughs> Ace of Diamonds. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, just to show you how quick they are to read, Seven of Diamonds, Five of Clubs, Nine of Clubs, uh, Ten of Hearts, Eight of Diamonds, Six of Spades, Four of Hearts, Jack of Hearts, Six of Hearts, King of Hearts, Queen of Clubs, uh, Ten of Clubs, sorry, uh, Queen of Diamonds, Ace of Hearts, and so on. Perfect. So they, they are really quick to spot the markings as well. It's not like um, with some of the smaller markings, even when I go to read them, sometimes it takes me ages to find them. They're so small, you know roughly what area they're in and yeah. everything else. Um, I think if you collect decks of cards, first off, you want to add this to your collection. Even if you don't, it, you're just going to love this system. Oh. Actually, number one, as a magician, you always like that thing that makes you go, what? Yeah. And this is definitely one of them. Number two, it's easy to use and it's very standard. It's, it's very prominent. And the fact is, you know, for a working magician, if I do this and say, take one, I will know what that card is. Yeah. So, yeah, exactly. um, you know, you could, after they've selected the card, you could say to them, in fact, look, put it back anywhere. In fact, give them a shuffle. Mm -hmm. You now know what the card is, so you only have to get it into position. Um, the other great thing about these is the price. Yeah, yeah. They absolutely. are £13.50 a deck. Um, they are quality cards. They are quality cards. The box is lovely, really, really nice. Um, but most... Yeah, I mean, there are a ton of tricks as well with Mark Dex. Oh, yeah. If you've never looked into Mark Dex, there's booklets, DVDs on, on tricks that you can do with Mark Dex. I know uh, Andy was doing Spectator Finds. Uh, Ted Leslie's Spectator is Mind Reader. That's it. The great, which is, great routine. Yeah, yeah. If you've got um, Colin McLeod's DVD, I'm sure he's got a version on there as well. Wayne Dobson has got a book, a booklet, which we stock called Marked for life, I oh, believe. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's all tricks with a mark there. Oh, brilliant. <coughs> okay, so there's a couple of places that you can start, but there's you know, loads of tricks you can do with them. Uh, so yeah, highly recommend this. I know you, you love this. I, do company, you know so. what? It's the first Mark deck that I've been able to read comfortably. And to be fair, all the lights are off in here apart from the, yeah. the sort of studio lights. So for me, it's a little bit odd without my glasses on. But in normal lighting, I can see these. Now, when I perform, I don't wear my glasses. No. Um, and the one thing that I really hate doing is if I am going to do something that uses marks halfway through a uh, routine, just go, uh, and for no reason at all, I'm just going to put my glass on and stare <laughs> yeah. down here a bit. Whereas these, without my glasses, I can see. Mm -hmm. And like I said, we, even with the distance thing with my glasses on, you know, just to prove yeah. how far away we can see them, you know, they, they are great. So that is um, DMC Black and Gold. We have those in stock now. As far as I'm aware, we're one of the only dealers in the UK actually stocking these, um, and they're only £13.50. They will sell quick, so um, I would pick yourself up a deck because you are absolutely going to love them. Right, so the next uh, product we're going to talk about today, Davey, yeah. is the Jekyll and Hyde book test. Okay. I was very excited about this. You were? Because I love book tests. Yeah, and you like Jekyll and Hyde as well. I do like Jekyll and Hyde, that's why I designed a pack of cards all based or around two it. packs of cards based around them yeah and there the mr hides behind you dr jekyll are further along the wall oh, so yeah. you can buy those from alex i'm just saying um so the jekyll and hyde book test this has just come out yeah. i will be honest with you i haven't learned everything this can do because it can, can do, do a, lot. a lot yeah um 
You could ask someone to turn to any page in the book. You can give them the whole top line of that page. Um, there's bits in here where you've got sections where you've got items, you could do a really nice drawing duplication. Uh, there are bits where you can reveal whole paragraphs. Um, the other thing is the book is very good, i.e. it can be read from cover to cover. Nice. <coughs> Not that usually your shows go on that amount of time that you can hand it to someone and say, read all of that, all of it, um, just make sure it's normal. Um, so, but it, it can be, it's very, very clever. So if they're scanning down the page, yeah. you know, it, it, it's just gonna read normally. But one of the things I have picked up that I'm gonna show you now is this, which I think is very, very nice. Take hold of the book. Okay. Um, just turn to any page. The only thing I'll ask Dave is that it's a page where you've got printing on both pages, because some of the pages are obviously title okay. pages, you know, so they're blank. Yeah. Um, but make sure you've got printing on both pages. Yeah, got it, yeah. Okay, whatever page number you're on, mm -hmm. I want you to add the digits of that number together. If you're on a single digit page anyway, just use that. But let's say you're on page number 12, yeah. add the one and the two together, give you, you know, three. Yeah, yeah? You, you've okay. now got, yeah. yeah. So you've now got a number in your mind, a single digit number. Yes. Okay, I want you to count down your page till you reach that line, the line of your number. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, you doing it? Yeah. Okay, so you're now on, on a, a line in the book. Yeah. Okay, and I want you to pick out a word from that line, make it a decent word, sort of a, a challenging word. The bigger the better, actually. Is there a nice big word on there? If there isn't, pick another line. Yeah, I've got one. You've got one? Yeah. Okay, now just uh, for argument's sake and for the people at home, just make sure that word isn't repeated again on the page. It's not on the page next to it. It's all pretty good, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, close the book. This word only exists in your mind. So you're going to be honest, or you're going to have to be honest because the guys at home don't know what word you're thinking of. Yeah. Okay, but what I'm going to ask you to do is, you can pop the book down. I want you to, to visualize a big screen between us. Okay, and the word's gonna start to form, but it's gonna start to form like one of those neon signs where the letters start to come up separately. Okay, so the first letter to come up will be the, uh, the first letter of the word. Yeah. So see that, start seeing it nice and clear. It's becoming brighter and brighter and brighter, brighter. It comes so bright and to the point I can see it's a D. Yes, it is. Um, now let's go to the end. Right. Once again, flashing, 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 flashing. G? Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, now see the rest of the words start to come in. Yeah. Okay, you're thinking of disappearing? Yes, I am. Very good. That is great. And That's honestly, lovely. to do that part, yeah. you'll learn it in a minute. Uh, okay. I mean, literally, I... I got the instructions. Fair, yeah, yeah, it is very fair. Bearing in mind, you could have turned to any page. There's yeah. no page false. Um, you know, and yeah. It wasn't on the one next. No, to no, 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 no. It wasn't it's, on the page. Yeah. No, that's that's the nice thing about this. It's so there's so much you can do with it. Um, it's by uh, two very talented guys, Scott Allgard and Luke Jonas. Jonas. Yeah. Um, and they've added so much into this book test. The, it comes with a booklet of instructions, yeah. um, and I will learn it all. But there, there's, you know, there's certain things that I can already do, but they're not suited to this environment. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So if you were doing, you know, a, a, a sort of stand-up gig, certain things would would feel better in a parlour setting, right. where a certain part of the book test feel better in a close-up setting, or, you know, feel just as good in a close-up yeah. setting. But as... So, because you do a lot of book tests. Yes. So, what, what's nice about this thing, what you're saying, is that you can slot that in with another book test and you, you add layers <laughs> and it's very usable. And yeah, I mean, for me, book tests, I, I use a lot of different book tests. I use um, Ultimate Flashback, yeah. I use Oasis, I use the Bib, I use the Mother of All. So I will pick out strengths of each book test yeah. and use them for their strengths. Um, this seems to have the best of everything, really. Oh, wow. it, it does seem to have, um, you know, with regards, I mean, I love my Mother of All book test and I love my Ultimate Flashback because I, with Ultimate Flashback, I really play the. Um, 
the sort of paragraph section. But to me, to have this in there, yeah. um, there's so much you can do with this that it will easily find a place. I would say as well, test. it's a nice size book as well. It's a good Fitness size. And length, yeah. yeah, good size book. Um, it's reasonably priced for what it is. Um, and it's great if you want to get into book tests. I will say for some of the routines in here, there's memory work, yeah. as there is with Mother of All book tests and you know almost all the book tests out there. Um, the thing I just done on you now, if you were just to do a word thing, that would take you two minutes to learn it. it it's yeah. so, so simple. Um, and some of the other bits in there are very, very simple um, right. with no memory really. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah. So yeah, it's really, really cool. Highly recommended. That's the Jekyll and Hyde book test. Um, that's in stock now and it's priced at around about 70 pounds. So check that out on the website. Right, so the final item today. Love this. This is wicked. This yeah. is by Hugo Shelley, the same yeah. guy that made the iCube that we showed a few uh -huh. weeks ago yeah. on, the, um, on the vlog. Um, this thing here, when, when we were at Blackpool this year, uh, Mark Spellman and a few other people come up to me and said, Pete, you've got to see yeah. this thing. And I kept going, yeah, I'll come and see it. And then Spellman came over and said, no, you're going to come and see it. And you're going to come and see it now. So me and Spellers went round there. And this thing was, in my mind, the talk of the convention. Yeah. It was incredible. Um, it's a serious bit of kit, isn't it? It's, it? it's a serious bit of kit. It's not cheap. I don't usually like having expensive things on the vlog. Yeah. Um, because I try and keep the vlog, you know, within everyone's budget. Yeah. But... After the iCube, yeah. it was really popular and a lot of people said, you know, it was great, a lot of people bought one. So obviously, you know, this sort of guy, uh, this sort of stuff is interesting, you yeah. guys that are watching. But I'll, I'll give you a, a rough sort of demonstration, just a basic routine with it. But this, um, you know, there'll be no secret to what this actually is if you go on our website, okay? it's. Yeah, let, let's yeah. just let, let's show you a, a thingy. Um, so there's an envelope. Yeah. And here is a deck of cards, yeah. David. Um, you can see all the cards are there. Uh -huh. um, and these are the cards that they actually use in casinos. Right. Okay. They are um, playing cards which are plastic. You can fill them. Um, and they're, they're made to last a long time. If you've played in casinos, you would have dealt with these cards. Yeah. Um, so do me a favor, pick them up. We're gonna play a little game of psychic poker, okay? okay. So what I want you to do is give them a really good mix up. Yeah. I want you to take any card out of the pack, but don't look at it. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, when you've got one, just pop it in the envelope. Close the envelope and just pop the envelope down on the table. Yep, yeah. and the rest of the cards put back in the box because I don't want you to think that, um, you know, somehow, somewhere I, I'm, you know, trying to read marks. We talked about mark cards, okay. so they're, they're away. Okay, I'm gonna place the envelope over here. In fact, we're gonna play a game of psychic poker. Yeah. The way poker would work is I'd be dealt a card, a card that I don't know what the value is. Yeah. I would have to bet money, and I'll tell you, if I get this wrong, you can have the tenor, okay? Yeah. Um, now, I would have to deal myself now four cards yeah. that would give me a winning hand. Okay. Okay. Got and it. I'm going to do that out of these fantastic Dr. Oh. Dr. Jekyll cards. Where'd they come from? <laughs> so, let's have a little look here. So, I need to, to get an essence of what type of card you would have picked. See, I don't even know, Pete. No, so I, I know. I can't help you. I know. We'll, we'll see what we can do. Uh, I'm going to go for those two, maybe. Oh. I'll go for that one. One more. Let's go for No, I'm going to go for that one. Okay. Um, no, do you know what? I'm going to change. I'm going to change. I'm going to go for those two. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to go for that one. I'm going to go for that one. Right. What'd you get? 
have a look. I got this one, <laughs> this one, this one, and this one. Yeah. Four cards. Yeah. Lift up my wallet. Remove the card. So this is the first time I've seen it as well. What have we got? The nine of hearts. Place it right there. And let's turn over this card. That's the seven of hearts. That will be the eight of hearts. That's your selection. That will be the ten. And that will be the jack, leaving us That's really a really running cool. flush. Now bear really in mind, cool. that is using it in its basic, yeah. basic form. I think the, the idea of it saying about this is it, it could, is limitless as to what you could come up with with it. Yeah. You know, uh, and it's just, it just makes it ultra, or the whole process seems so fair and clean. Um, the, the, yeah, beauty, you know. the beauty of these type of gimmicks, because I know certain people are going to watch this and go, I could replicate that with a Mark deck. Yeah. Which you could. Yeah. But um, you have to handle it. Yeah, yeah. You know, the beauty of these type of effects, and I'm a great believer in this, is the right tool for the right job. The beauty of this is distance. Um, yeah. My good friend Moz built me a little box, which we've got in the shop, um, that works in conjunction with this gimmick. Yeah. So I can have someone at the other side of the room, pick a card, put it in an envelope, drop it in this box. Yeah. I can be at the other end of the room and still tell them what they've selected. Yeah. You know, it's... I, I think this, is, this works great in close-up, but really, I think it would excel in a parlor stage situation where yeah. you can be the other side of the stage and you can, you know, still very hands off, know exactly what the card is, which yeah. can lead into a much bigger routine. And uh, so it's definitely got its place. It, it certainly has. And remember, the other thing as well is um, you can actually buy the little bits yes. for this yeah, yeah. and I've got a set once again my good friend Moz who's always making me stuff I don't yeah. know how he manages to keep a job with the amount of stuff he makes me but he made me some um, horror cards yeah they're with you. Uh, yeah so I can have them select a horror movie put them in this box the box is beautiful just looks old and everything um, and it, it's it's great so I can tell them what horror film they've they've picked so this is a whole system it's a whole device it's called insight I'm not gonna tell you what it is here but if you go on our website it will tell you what it is so you'll know what you're purchasing but it's a great bit of kit it's very very well made um, yeah and it, it's it's phenomenal it's as good as that that's insight by the, the fantastically clever Hugo Shelley Right, so that brings us to the end of this week's video blog. It does indeed, it does. Um, we've had three great uh, effects on here. We've got the DMC black and gold cards by uh, Drum and Money Coots and my good friend, friend Phil Smith. Yep. Uh, we had the Jekyll and Hyde book test. Seriously worth your consideration if you do mentalism or you want to get into book tests. And test. we had Insight, Insight by Hugo Shelley. Who is it by? Hugo Shelley. Right. Okay, you might know I've got a habit of tapping things as I speak, which David feels it's his place to ridicule. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so that was that was it for this week. I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, we'll be back next week with another Alexan video blog. Yeah, absolutely. Um, um, please subscribe here and follow us in the usual places. Um, we've got half of the amount of people that are on the other Anakazam YouTube page now following us on this one. So there's still half of you out there that don't get the regular updates and miss some of the vlogs. So do make sure you subscribe, it's worth doing. And also we had a few emails from people saying that they had heard that we were doing a teaching vlog but they missed it, where is it? So go back, it wasn't last week, it was the week before. Yep. Um, yeah, check free, it out. Free tricks. Yep. Perfect. Yeah, that's great. So there we go. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will see you next week on the Alakazam video blog.